excellence through pressure. Pressure enables us to be people of excellence, people who break barriers, people who do wonderful things. And uh, we're going to start from the honeycomb is naturally sweet. Uh, it is the, uh, the core of honey. And, and, and so it is naturally sweet, sweeter actually more than the honey itself. Bitterness is not sweet. And many of you can think of uh, bitter things you have eaten or tasted in your life. Uh, sometimes it could be uh, a fruit that you thought was going to be sweet and uh, it wasn't sweet. It could be an unripe fruit, an unripe pineapple, an unripe mango, uh, uh, an unripe lemon. Lemon itself is not sweet, but if it's unripe, it's worse. Uh, but contrast that with a honeycomb. A honeycomb is sweet. It's something you should love. Uh, and a bitter thing is should be something you should hate. The honeycomb is hated. It should love the honeycomb, but it doesn't love it. Honeycomb is hated and is like being offered to choose between a sweet, a sweet uh, ripe pineapple and an unripe pineapple. And our natural instinct would be to go for the sweet pineapple and not the unripe bitter pineapple. So I would just summarize uh, that with two sentences. One is that self-satisfaction makes us see what is easy as hard. When a person is satisfied or self-satisfied, they hate the sweet thing. They hate the easy thing. They hate things that are good for them because of self-satisfaction. But when a person is hungry, they see what is hard as easy. They eat what is bitter and consider it sweet. So it, it just means that the state of a person's appetite would make them determine what is sweet and what is bitter, what they will embrace and what they will reject, what they want to do and what they would not want to do. When a person is hungry for something, even when it is hard and it is difficult, doing it with passion, you don't complain about it because you have a hunger for it, you have a desire for it, you have intensity for it, and you do it as if it's nothing but when you are doing something that you don't like and you 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 feel bad about then even a few days become seven years so really what changes the way we approach our work is not the work itself is how we feel about the work and that gives us an idea of what we can do to become excellent people to become excellent people we're definitely going to be working everybody say press it's a very interesting word it is out of the word press that we get our word pressure pressure is pressing in the lemma of the greek the word used is deoko deoko and it means to press to pursue and interestingly to persecute to press to pursue to persecute the word persecute means to suffer hardship under intense pressure pressure is a very powerful force without it there is no movement and those who hate pressure make very little movement in life so when you see a person who is stuck in one place you know that this person has refused pressure because if you're going to move there has to be pressure in the ancient world the first concept of a press was the wine press the wine press was what was used to produce wine and what did the wine press do the wine press would take grapes 
and they would create, they had a system that continued to apply pressure. And what the wine press would do is that it would squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze the grapes until water came out of it. They apply the same for the olive press to create olive oil. They squeeze the fruit. In fact, it was the same mechanism that was later uh, used by Gutenberg to make the printing press. That's why it was called the press. Because it was pressing letters on paper. Press. Pressure. So, for you to move, my friend, you and I, we need pressure. If you hate pressure, you will be in one place. So movement is a product of pressure. And excellence is a product of pressure. Without pressure, you're going to remain where you are. Without pressure, you will never move. Life has within it what I call points of resistance. And without pressure, you can never move past them. One of the most precious objects or substances in our world is a diamond both in its raw state and in its polished state diamonds occur under extreme pressure of temperature and atmosphere atmospheric pressure without pressure diamonds cannot be produced and diamonds are cut under extreme pressure so for both for the making of the diamond and the polishing of the diamond extreme pressure is required if you hate pressure your life will be stuck if pressure makes you have headaches you can't handle it then you can't move excellence cannot occur in a state of inertia so the question i want to ask you is how well do you function under pressure do you run from responsibility when pressure increases? And do you fight those who apply pressure on you for you to perform? Many of the world's inventions were created under pressure. Nations and cultures that avoid pressure remain the same or move very slowly. Everybody requires pressure. Think of any industry or any vocation. Without pressure, you do nothing. You will not achieve much. But you know, in other countries, if there is a medical malpractice in a hospital, that hospital may be shut down. Here, you do surgery with somebody, leave scissors and all kinds of things in your stomach. And when it is fine, say, oh, we are sorry, we are sorry. They open you again and take it out as if nothing happened. Because nobody is going to sue you. Now, suing people is hard. It's painful. But when you are sued once, you will count the scissors after every surgery. Now, normally when people put us under pressure, we hate them. But do you know that when you grow in life, the people you appreciate most are the ones who put you under pressure. The teachers you love most are those who drilled you and put you under pressure the coach who put you under pressure but the ones you loved in school who made you have your own way later on you grow up and realize they were your worst enemies but at the point they seem to be your best friends nobody likes pressure I don't like it you don't like it but we have to embrace it in order to have motion but let me say this pressure proves us pressure proves us the real proof of a person is seen under pressure it can either reveal the worst in us or the best in us but for the purposes of my teaching i'm going to look at the positive effects of pressure pressure proves us how does it do that pressure shows what is within us pressure shows what is within us like a tea bag in hot water. Pressure reveals what is hidden inside us. When you put a tea bag in hot water, it is under pressure. 
for its flavors to be diffused without pressure nobody benefits from what is within it i'm yet to see anybody who takes a tea bag and puts it in their mouth to, to eat or drink but hot water will bring the best out of your tea that hot water is pressure anyone who has dug a door a borehole for water experiences how pressure enables us to find water beneath dry earth i didn't know i could even speak publicly until i was put under pressure i'm naturally a very reserved person very quiet and nothing in me in my natural state shows that i can speak publicly nothing in my natural state until one day i leader put me under pressure and just announced publicly to everybody next week brother mensa will share something with us and he's going to and it's almost as if the whole earth opened my whole world as i knew with the comfort the security of just being an observer of other people and admirer of other people all vanish all of a sudden i'm supposed to stand in front of people and tell them something and what if i make a fool of myself but it was that pressure that made me know for the first time in my life ever that i could speak what if that man had not put me under pressure for that whole week before the meeting i was praying something lord change this and the week came and i stood up to talk and i shut my eyes and spoke and sat down and felt the most horrible in my life because i just felt now everybody knows he's not just quiet he's just foolish that's why he's quiet he has nothing to say look I, I, all kinds of thoughts were going through my mind until after the meeting people came to shake my hand they said we didn't know you could speak that well we didn't know you could and i said wow i didn't know myself but what brought it out pressure pressure strengthens what we have not only does it bring out what we have it strengthens what we have pressure on our muscles strengthens our muscles bodybuilders are huge with bulging muscles because of pressure they put on their muscles pressure is a, a builder without it you cannot build your gifts your talents for excellence pressure sharpens what we are doing it sharpens you it it gives you a cutting edge it refines gold it sharpens knives it helps us add value to our work Without pressure, we'll satisfy ourselves with mediocre exploits and clap for ourselves. Pressure stretches what we can do. It stretches what we can do. It enables us to turn something from one state to the other. Pressure changes water from liquid to gas. It blends foods, solid foods into liquid foods. Pressure stretches what you can do. Every one of us who wants to excel, how many of you want to excel this year? But all I can say is to excel, to accelerate, to gain motion, to move, to break resistance, your natural state will not do it for you. Your natural state is going to say, you are okay. Why are you worrying yourself? Why are you doing all of that? You know, that when people see you joking, they say, ah, why are you worrying yourself? Are you going to compete in an uh, Olympics? No. Then, then why are you running every day? Because we want life to be cool. No problem. But for everything you want to achieve, and especially if you want to excel, put yourself under intense pressure to do that. And this year, one of the things you're going to love is pressure. You will not insult people who do put you under pressure. Not be angry with them. You will not hate them. You will embrace them and thank them for pressure because they are your best friends. For a moment, you may not see their value. But when they have purified the diamond in you and you are sparkling for the world to see, you go back and say, had this person not put this pressure on, them, on me, I would never have arrived 